Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to navigate the workspace, object selection, scale, coordinate, and units. Let's get started. Before we start, if you want to change the color theme of your interface, you can do so by typing option and press enter or by clicking the AutoCAD icon at the top left of your screen. Go to Options. Go to Display. And here you can choose either Light or Dark. I'm going to choose light. And then once you're done, press OK. Introduction to Workspace. Workspace consists of toolbars, ribbon, control panel that are organized together in order for you to create your drawing. At the top is where you have your ribbon. By hovering in the area, it will provide you with a short description of the command and how to use it. We also have a view cube where you can change different views to your drawing. You can also add toolbars to make your drawing efficient by clicking at the top where there is a down arrow, click show menu bar, go to tools, toolbars, AutoCAD, and you have a variety of different kinds of toolbars that you can place anywhere. At the bottom is where you have your command line. This is where you type commands and see additional information the system will ask you in order to function the way you want it. Also, we have the layout tabs. When you are ready to plot, you just head over here, create your template, and you're good to go. On the right side is where you see Ortho, Polar Tracking, Object Snap, the function that you sometimes turn on and off depending on the application you are doing. Once you are happy with your custom workspace, you can then save it by clicking this icon and click Current Save As. So every time you open a drawing, all of the settings will be there and it will be the same. Navigate your drawing. By scrolling up, you are zooming in on your drawing. By scrolling down, you will zoom out on your drawing. To move into your workspace or the term pan, click and hold the wheel and then slide your mouse. Object Selection Selecting an object from left to right by left-clicking and dragging the mouse will turn the area blue. You will need to cover the whole area in order to select the object. If we do it again, and if we are not able to select the whole object, it will not be selected. But if we select everything and it's covered in the blue area, it will be selected. Selecting it from right to left, by clicking and dragging the mouse, it will turn the area green. You don't need to cover the whole object to select. Press Escape to cancel the selection. Scale. 
it is ideal to set your scale 1 is to 1 when you are drawing in the model space as it can be confusing. It's best to scale whenever you are in the layout or when you're ready to plot. Coordinate. This number represents the location of the cursor at X, Y, and Z axis of the drawing. This number represents the X, this is Y, and this is Z. Z is always zero as we are at the top view and we're doing 2D. If we change the view, you can see that this represents the X, this represents the Y, and the Z represents the height. This point is where all the coordinates are all zero. Units. To set up your units, type units and then press enter. The drop down will provide different kinds of lengths, different kinds of precision, the angle, the insertion scale. Your setup depends on the location and the type of drawing you are going to do. Once you set up all of this, press OK and you're done. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.